Most people are really tight here in the hip flexors, and especially from sitting all day, this is hip flexion, it becomes short here. These muscles here attach into the low back and creates this pelvic motion here. And most people are really tight there. So the way we stretch that is, we're going to come down on our knee. Actually, I'm going to come on this side. Okay, we're going to bring the opposite leg forward. I'm going to use my ball here so I have the tendency not to lean forward. So we can go deep into this psoas muscle. So we're going to keep our chest up. And I'm going to mindfully press my hip to the floor as I look up. You can feel this deep, deep, deep into the hip. Okay, and you want to hold the stretch if you can at least for 30 seconds, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Into the nose, out through the mouth. By doing that, it sends a signal to the brain with that breathing for the muscle to relax and help stretch out. Really great stretch, hip flexor stretch. Side. Now look what I do the other side here. When I come down, I'm pressing the back leg to the floor, that hip. I don't want this knee tracking over my toe. The movement comes from the hip that's down on the floor, the knee that's down on the floor. That hip is the one pressing to the floor. Deep right here. And I'm holding myself up. If I was to go down here like this, I wouldn't be getting the stretch. But for some people, they're so tight, they can't come up this high. And that's okay, then just bring it down. Because remember what we talked about. On a scale from one to 10, we want our stretches to be in a seven. So slight discomfort, not ripping it out of the joint. That's not the point. Stretching needs to be relaxed, that you can breathe and relax. Good, hip flexor stretch. 